What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Off-Road Brigade Garage. I want to do a quick video on doing an IFS hub swap on Toyota Mini Trucks. Uh, the swap is super easy. Uh, it does involve a little bit of machine work and you are going to have to drill your knuckle, um, but uh, it's really not that bad. You're going to get a 3 inch water track width and that's uh, going to make the truck a little bit more stable. Um, so a huge shout out to Clinton at Dirt Garage. He actually did a full video on uh, this swap. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great alternative than using wheel spacers, I think. And yeah, so let's go and, and run through it. And um, I want to give you guys a full parts list of how to do it. So I do find that when we're looking for information on this, everybody does something a little bit different. So, um, you know, whether you're trying to find out what bolts to use or what your calipers to have and rotors, uh, I'm going to try and make this as super easy and as super quick as possible. All right, let's get into it. This is the parts you're going to need. These calipers. 94 Forerunner. I got first generation Tacoma rotors. I got half inch by two, obviously grade eight. I do have stover nuts as well, uh, just for kind of extra precaution to make sure that these obviously you don't you don't want them to come off. So I'll probably use Loctite as well, and um, we'll show you guys now. Get it all drilled out and get them all milled out. So here is the hub. Uh, this hub is an IFS hub. So basically anything from 86 and up, uh, second gen Forerunner, uh, third gen pickups, um, they are differently spaced. So um, basically how it works is you're going to mill down this outer diameter to fit the inner diameter of your rotor. So now I can actually take this rotor, slides right on. So now this rotor is basically a full float system. Uh, with the factory way, it would bolt to the back of the hub. Uh, then obviously you got to press the studs through it. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So this is just a lot easier. Uh, I got uh, industrial, extreme industrial maintenance to mill this down. Uh, 95 bucks an hour. It was only a couple hundred bucks, guys. Uh, I know I do see quite a few um, um, other Toyota guys out there just using a grinder to kind of grind that out. You know, you're, you're never going to get that nice circumference. So I just think it's better to... Just get it onto a mill, they'll lay, uh, and they'll uh, obviously they'll they'll get it down to the right circumference so that this fits on nice and snug and won't be any clearance issues. All right, so after you got your hub milled, move the caliper. You are going to have to drill a half inch hole. So obviously, of course, your bolt goes through. You will have to run a washer on the inside. You're going to use this washer to space the caliper for the rotor. So, and then of course you're um, gonna make sure that everything's gonna be fit nice, gonna fit tight. So um, make sure I found that the two inch bolt works best. And I uh, gotta do the same thing to the hub. Now we're on the hub side. So I have drilled half inch holes. So the bolt will come through. Caliper is gonna sit on the front side of the hub. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is finished product. Look down here, got lots of clearance, nice and centered in the caliper. Got the washer on the inside, washer on the outside with the stover nut. That's her. Now you got a full float rotor. Easy to take off. Ta da! Oh, just forgot. You may run into clearance issues. You do have to be careful. Um, I believe Clinton had the same problem on Dirt Garage. Uh, the caliper um, obviously is a little bit larger. Um, so aluminum wheels versus steel wheels um, it kind of seems to be a consistent issue. Um, but uh, sometimes you will have to run like a slip-on spatial, like a quarter inch. But um, I usually grind down the first fin of the caliper. I've done that in the past, but we'll see how these guys fit. All right, guys, so that's it. That is an IFS hub swap on a Toyota mini truck. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button, and we'll start doing this a little bit more often if this is what you guys like to see. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.